Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we uploaded any other videos due to as many projects that I've been getting myself into, but lately I um, made a final decision whether to stay with as many projects that I got at the moment. I don't think I'll be adding more to the list or going even bigger time on none of that until some of these are finished completely to enjoy, to enjoy them as much as we can. So basically this right here is a 1997 Toyota Tacoma that I purchased from a, from a local guy that he was actually trying to junkyard it. And I happened to be around that area when he was trying to do all of that. So the current situation I got going on with this vehicle is that it's completely slammed. It's on airbags and it's been there for about three months. Right now it's parked at my brother's house. I needed some of the space. And aware that I didn't have to move it all around, move it at all. So basically the compressor, the compressor works on it, but none of the wiring part is actually functioning at the moment. That's the main reason that the guy was trying to sell it because his dad needed the truck gun out of his driveway. So I happened to try to like, I actually took the truck out of the junkyard at the same time that the guy was trying to sell it. I didn't know the guy, but I know another guy that was with him. so. I trust them at the moment. It's on airbags. It's, it's worth three times what I pay for it at the moment. And um, right now what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I did it before, I'm gonna pick up the bed by myself and I consider this a workout, I would say. It is around 150 to 225 pounds, I would say. But if I was able to wingle it around last time, I know I got a couple of scratches right there, stuff like that, but it's, the conditions that it is right now it's not gonna hurt me so i'm gonna go ahead and um, proceed to try to pick this up on the other side i got a blanket and maybe once i have it up i might use some of that stuff to just hold on to it while i keep on picking it up on the other side <coughs> like i said it's nothing but a workout for me I got the first part, which is the aluminum tank. You guys gonna be able to see it in a minute. It's actually mounted to the chassis. Some type of bracket, but now that I got it, it clear. As soon as it clears the tank, uh, the rest of it is just playing around with the tires. On the other side, I got a blanket on the floor in order to get to some of the solenoid and put some air in it to lift it off the ground the chassis is completely touching ground level right now all right that was a deep breath And now I can pick it up completely and put it on the other side. Trying to help me. Basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put some. Oh, I did it before because I'm not too familiar with this. This thing being here, I think it's been here for about 10 years when it was built, and it's been sitting for a while as well. 
But all this, all this stuff was actually done pretty cool. The frame was done good. The airbags on the back are actually good at the moment, but I don't think I'll keep those there for too long. So, what I was able to do the last time was able to wire it up directly from the battery and just put some negative, positive and negative and hit one of these. And I believe one of them will go up, make both sides go up at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna do. And once I put some air on it, it usually holds around a week, maybe maybe five, six days. That should be good enough. So I'm gonna be moving it from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll, I'll try to wash some of this stuff because I'm definitely gonna be working out here. I'm gonna be working around all this stuff for a while. So, you know, if there's any leaks, if there's any other stuff, that, you know, I wanna be able to see better, the cleaner, the better for me to work around it. You know what I mean? See what I'm working with. So, that's what I'm gonna do in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put some power to that thing. And just put some set of 18 wheels on it. Even with the bags being off the ground, it's still really close to ground level. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, negative. I always hold that positive on my one side. And I got cables over here. Again, this like my booster and all of the other stuff that I had to run straight power to things. They went bad completely. So right about now, this is all I have. And then and it, the little air compressor on this thing, it really goes up really fast. Because the first time I did it, it kind of had me scared. But like I said, I'm not a fan of it. I'm really not a fan of this stuff, but I'm going to keep it because this is how I got it. I really offer the guy the money because, you know, I was suffering to see a Tacoma go into the junk jar like that. And the closer I kept on going, getting to it, you know, that's when I really noticed that the guy, the guy that was selling it, he just couldn't have it no more and he was willing to lose. I won't really reveal the price that I pay for it right now because I would like to let, let a couple of people take a guess, which is really I think it's a little bit more fun. I'll let you guys guess on that. But. I try to go up on this, I gotta keep my knees and my legs away from from the chassis because I know it'll go up. I don't remember where, but we're gonna go ahead and try it again. How I did it the last time. See, that's a clicking sound. It's the same way it did the last time. So I, I kept on moving them around and see which one would let me go up. Now, now that I see this one popped out, I get the messing with that one and it was giving me a click sound, but now I see the screw taking off on this one. Like I said, I forgot what I did and I think it might be this one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I know what we got. <laughs> we don't have no air in the compressor. I mean, I was thinking it'll hold some air, but no, I don't think I charged it before the, the, since the last time it, it, I did not charge it. So we gotta, I'm gonna disconnect this right now to see the connectors on the compressor, but I know we don't have no air in the compressor right now. So I'm gonna just take a look at this side and um, put some air on that compressor and it'll go up. That's definitely what I'm going through right now. Nope. a negative and a positive for the compressor forgot about that it's my first airbags little project was not looking to get into it but it's already here
got the compressor working. See that compressor been sitting for more. I know it's been sitting for more than five years, and since it's all under the bed, that's still functioning. And it's a small one. I'll, I'll show you guys the compressor when I get the time, because it's kind of tight squeeze over here. lifted I don't know if it's in gear I don't know because I wasn't even worried about putting it in gear because this thing is touching ground like I said it's it's, it's, it's not gonna go nowhere it's actually going up little by little bit About to be maxed out. I know we got a low, we probably got like another inch and a half, but it's 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 getting ready to be maxed out on the airbags. Those airbags are kind of old. The, the back, I know the rear ones are actually better. I know the maybe the maybe there's a line leaking on the front ones, or the actual airbags are probably cracked. But air loses faster on the front than the rear. And like I said, I'll keep it like that. I I mean, it, this was a random. Here's the setup of 18s. They've been hanging around for a while. Those wheels been hanging around for a while. Uh, they belong to a buddy of mine. One of my Dominican buddies. I can also say he's one of my best friends, but we don't really link up that much, but he's one of my closest friends. We're all, we're all fighting that. Having to work and deal with the fun things that we all like. Well, I actually had asked him to let me borrow them wheels once. I'll tell him to let me borrow the wheels because I was trying to I was trying to try the fit man, the specs on it, the setup, and it's been almost three years. Cause I never really used them. All he really did all he really did was just let me borrow them for me to try them on. He comes by, he sees them. I always ask him, hey, you need me to bring them? And I'm like, yeah, I'll let you know. And it's been three years set of wheels that I borrowed from my buddy and he's still not I guess he don't have no need for them now but as soon as he does I'm gonna have to give them back to him the main reason I keep them is because I always try them in different cars I always try the setup that's the reason I keep on holding on to them
What I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna put the backpack on tomorrow once I once I wash it in the morning. I try to get up early in the morning. As soon as I wash it, I'll put the bed back on just to don't make it look too crazy out here. And then we'll jump to the front part and see if we can pick it up. And if it don't hold it in the air, I'm gonna have to just make me some brackets, make me something. I'm gonna make sure that it stays up. I cannot have it dragging. I cannot have it just touching ground level like that. Cause if I, like I said, I wanna be able to move it around. Maybe take it for spin, take it to an open area where we can actually drive it. Cause it's a little loud right now that it's an open and soft. So, I don't know. I'll make my decision about whether I put that bed or not. Cause if I keep the bed off, I'll be able to make finish up that assaz, which is halfway open. I changed so many wheels in my lifetime just to try them on, to trade wheels, to buy them, to borrow them. I just fit them in one car to another car. actually bought this size 19 um, from Summit Racing which is here in Georgia about a 40 it's, it's about 45 minutes away up to an hour I bought it in specific for tires because like you can you don't have to put no type of extension and you always clear your wheel and never get to scrape it and all that these wheels they've been beat up a little bit my buddy used to run them with hammers but this I bought, got it from Summit and this is the key tool that I always keep for the tires and lug nuts We're not going to tie them up. At least not for now. So I'm going to take a quick look at what it looks like. This is what the solenoid is looking like. This is what the frame no rust in it it was actually well painted it i believe like they gave it a code the differential part welded pretty good welded across the plates some of the wiring back there it's supposed to have a additional battery over there i'm not running that i don't think i will later on the road and um the tank I think I'll keep the tank for what it is and not the compressor. This is what the compressor looked like. I know it's an old brand and there's a bunch of wiring. Everything has been like that since I got it. So the reason I'm making this video is because I'm going to start wrapping up some of this little projects that I got. I mean, it takes nothing to get them out because I do enjoy riding these around town. I mean, going to pick up parts on the weekend. If it breaks something, it's easy to fix and you can always haul it with anything. So this is one of the reasons why I'm trying to wrap this up because this is something that I want to ride around town a lot. And I'll, I'll be shooting more videos tomorrow morning. I'll try to wash it off and um, maybe get it to start because I know it'll start. It started right after I brought it home. But well, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.